In this video, we'll look at the equation for MgBr2 plus H2O. That's magnesium bromide plus water. So magnesium, that's a metal, and then bromine, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, it's an ionic compound. And ionic compounds are often soluble in water, and they'll dissolve in water. But we should check and make sure on a solubility table. So here's our solubility table, and we go down. These are the positive ions. So we go down. Here's magnesium. It's a 2 plus, And then we're looking for bromine which is right here in the first column. So we go Br minus, we go down. This is where they meet. There's an S, so it is soluble in water. When we put in water, it'll dissolve. So back to our equation. We put solid magnesium bromide in liquid water, and it dissolves. It breaks apart into its ions. We sometimes say dissociates. So we'll get that Mg2 plus, and we'll get the bromide ion, Br minus. But this 2, this subscript of 2, tells us that there's two bromine atoms here. So we need to put a 2 in front of our bromide to make sure the numbers agree on each side of the equation. We can also write AQ after magnesium because this is dissolved in water. And AQ means aqueous, dissolved in water. And that makes this the equation for MgBr2 plus H2O, magnesium bromide and water. Do note, if you left this out, the water would evaporate and you'd end up with solid MgBr2 again. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.